I realize this comes as a shock to you, and you don't know me. So I've asked the most trusted member of the Royal Council staff, Herr Betterman, to explain. I have in my hands genealogical documents, including birth reports, and recently obtained DNA results. They prove who the true heir to the throne is and is not. And it is definitely not the man calling himself Prince who stands before you today and who would go so far as to simulate the royal birthmark on his hindquarters. <laughs> You have been unmasked, charlatan, and all of your power stripped from you, you too. Gods! A little help here. What exactly do you expect me to do? If they're imposters, who will rule Mandora? This fraud perpetrated on the good people of Mandora will be righted quickly, and the imposters will be punished, and there will be a coronation, and much joy will follow. What is all this? A son of a bitch man managed to stage a coup from prison. So what, he wants to be king now? But who is the rightful heir to the throne of Mindora? None other than your ambassador to America, Jonas Chamberlain. this back road because I was on my way to the vineyard. Nash Brennan's vineyard. Yes. The investors are going to foreclose on the property within a few days. <sighs> well, I really am very sorry for your family's financial Just woes. Just listen. I told Natalie that I would drive out to the vineyard and pick up a case of wine that Nash had cellared for Bree's wedding, and that's what I intend to do. What? The, the Nash's vineyard is 10 miles in that direction, and La Boulet is just three miles in that direction. So wouldn't it be a lot easier to just drive me there first? See, I knew you were going to do this. That's why I said it was going to cost you your time. Vicky, it's not that far out of your way. Fine. Then walk. If you want to lift, you're coming to the vineyard with me first. It's up to you. Call Mom. Tell her about the brakes, please, before it's too late. Oh, that's a done deal. Well, then you have to try. Why? Because you're not a murderer, Tess. Do you know what that bitch did to me? Oh, no, I forgot. You don't know. You checked out, and I had to deal with it when she left me in that bar for that creep to do what he did to us. She was sick. That was Nikki. <laughs> well, I'm Tess. She's not my mother. You're not a killer. Well, you know, there's always a first time. Just ask Natalie and Jared. You're grieving for Nash, okay? We both are. Because they took him away from us. But my mom didn't, okay? So you have to do something. Like how I do. Jessica, are you all right? Tell her. Tell her your test, okay? Tell her what's going on. Tell her what you've done, okay? Look, you stepped in for me before when I couldn't do anything, so please, please do it now! Sorry, I... I know you lost a lot in Iraq. Yeah, and in Afghanistan. What are we talking about this for? You can't go through what you did without it doing something to you. I'll deal. But you're not. <laughs> I hear you walking around downstairs at night. And when you do sleep, you have nightmares. How would you know? Sometimes you say stuff in your sleep. Look, I promise to stop drinking around Shane, okay? I hope you can keep that promise. If you think I'm such a screw-up, then why don't you just tell the kid I'm not his old man? I never should have let him believe you were. But I did. He worships you, so don't let him down, Brody. I told you. I need more than promises. I need you to do something about it. Or, or what? Or I can't let you be around Shane anymore. Why is it so important you take your stupid horse out for a ride now? Hey, hey! My horse isn't stupid. Going riding in a storm is, especially when you're hammered. Oh, boss, would please go home. 
This has nothing to do with you. It's none of your business. Hell yeah, it's my business. I spent 50 bucks trying to find you. Oh, what, is the money that you want that? It's not about the money. I just, I need some answers here. And then you'll leave me alone? Maybe, depends. On what? What the answers are. Oh, gee, you're a pain in the butt, Balsam. I'm not going anywhere, so might as well start talking. It's the old man. You want to take your horse out in a thunderstorm because of Asa? Yeah. He's going to see who the fool is. He didn't think of you that way, Bob. Well, that's what he called me. When? Tonight. And you're telling me not to listen to Delfina? I said, I a coward, too. Is that your first bottle or your second or third? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to let you in on the secret, boss. I'm going to show him. Once and for all. While you're in there, I want you to try to figure out why there are more horses' asses in this world than there are horses. Bo, do not get on that horse! Bo! Watch me. Bo, wait! Bo! Now what am I supposed to do? Shut up. Hey, horses. Okay, Lightning, go go find your friend. Please? All right. Okay, how do I put this thing in drive? You sure? Yeah, really. I'll be out in a few, please. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be in the kitchen. You're not calling the shots anymore, Jessica. <sighs> please. She's not just my mother. She's our mother. Tess, you have to do something. You have to call mom or tell Natalie, but we have to get her out of that car before get she winds here. up dead. And don't come back. Jessica, all right? I guess so. She says she'll be down in a minute. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to be pretty careful about what we say around her, at least for a while. Yeah, I know. I just feel like everything I say or do, nothing's the right thing. Um, honey, you can't take her for face value right now. She's obviously not getting through this as well as she claims to be. Okay, so what do I do? You love your sister, and she knows that. She's, she, she's gonna get past what she's feeling right now. It just may take a while, but it will happen. Take it from someone who knows. You're amazing. Not me. 